Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Pity Beats here from Pop Turner. This being to Jennifer Robertson about season two of Ginny and Georgia, which is going to be streaming worldwide on Netflix January 5th. Welcome back to the show. It's so good to see you again. Thank you so much. Always happy. Always happy to chat with you, sir. Yeah, Here, no, sir. it's so great. It's your third time on the show now. I feel like I have to get yeah. you a mug or something. As it's a like... series regular now? Am I a series regular <laughs> if I do three? Something pretty crazy before we get into season two because, I mean, I mean, you could do like an episode, you could do like an interview every week about like what happens in season I know. two of the show. I know. Just to like emotionally unpack, yeah. But a full circle kind of cool thing that I want to tell you and I want to save for the actual thing is there's a thing, cool thing that kind of connects us both and it's kind of like a full circle thing so you were on a show on family channel called winging it sure was and the theme song of that show was a band called stereos did it okay from edmonton and okay. some of the members of that band have like side projects and everything and they do the theme song to pop tournament stop it i know yeah the so theme song <laughs> connection <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know. It's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty wild. Oh, um, wow. I mean, what is the mindset? You're back for season two. Obviously, yeah. so many characters kind of got infected with like relationships and news we heard. And, you know, you're like the, you're the parent, parental, you know, of like characters that are just nonstop going through heartbreak and everything. Is it just kind of like, let's get back to work? Like, what is that mindset specifically going back? Well, I mean, obviously we were super excited yeah. to be going back. So first you have that excitement of we got another season. Um, you know, we were shooting in the pandemic, so it was weird. It was yeah. like not, it was the only time we got to be with each other was like, it or without a mat was during a scene. Yeah. You never saw anybody's face. You never, um, so it was so interesting you know, our connection in those scenes, I think part of it is just this desperate need to connect to each other. I mean, I think Brianne and I stood on a snowy corner, street corner one day for an hour with coffee and Bailey's just so we could actually talk. And we stood like 20 feet away from each other to just like catch it up. So as personally as actors, that was where we were at for the shooting. And I mean, in terms of those scenes, yeah, there's so much happening and there's so much you can't talk about. So it's so challenging, but I can definitely say the performances by the cast in this season are mind blowing. We're totally going to walk on eggshells this whole interview right now I because know. it's like we might or might not be privy to information and it's like, what is this going to drop? Yeah. What can we say? Yeah. It's crazy. I love the stuff with you and Brienne this season. Like, I really do. Like, yeah. you had you had good stuff in season one, but yeah. like, what, 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 was it, what was it about season two with a lot of things that you were doing? Like, I feel yeah. like they're really, they're getting closer in a lot of ways we're if you think closer. about it. Like, yeah. Which makes sense, you know, in terms of we are each other's sort of favorite people yeah. <laughs> in the world of parents. So yeah, we got a lot more, I think there's a lot more depth yeah. to our, our friendship in, in this season for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. we left off not in a great place, so. And the thing is, it's not even a spoiler, but like, <laughs> It doesn't even waste time in the first two episodes. Like they like literally they don't we're and I think that's something that the fans are really gonna appreciate. Like they're not, yeah. you know, wait like they're not ignoring it. They're not wasting no. time. You know what I mean? We're like yeah. we're going right back to the breakups. <laughs> yeah. And you're right there. There's not a moment wasted in this season. <laughs> every moment for every character is filled because it has to be, because you're telling so many stories yeah. in that one hour format holy cow i know it is <laughs> buckle up <laughs> buckle, buckle up. up everybody does it feel like like the flashback scenes are there to really kind of explain a lot of what's happening currently do you notice that a lot in the scripts? Because some people might just say, oh, like it's just the origins of Ginny and Georgia and everything. But they're really some of they're really strategic with like what they show from the flash flashback. And it really yeah. kind of ties into what's happening in like the current times, right? And what they don't show. Yeah. I mean, that's good writing. I think if you're gonna use that device of flashbacks, especially nowadays, you've really got to connect it. And I think the show does it extremely well. It's 
sometimes those flashbacks are jarring or don't really connect. It's just like, this is a thing that happened a long time ago. No, they've really very carefully picked things that are weaving into that episode and what we're dealing with in that episode for sure. There, not, there might not be in season two. Let's, let's go over the list as a list. There might or might not be heartbreak. There might or might not be, there might or might not be music. Yep. There might, there's a lot of might or might not be's for season two. You, here's some what, what you can't, what you're going to get. You're going to get um, some great outfits. Mm-hmm. Character driven outfits. You're gonna get mm-hmm. me. I'm probably gonna drink some wine. Mm-hmm. Um, You're gonna get like the coolest on screen mom ever. Like everyone wants that as yeah. a mom. Let's be honest. <laughs> Do you ever I think, think about that? Do you read scripts like, wow, this is like a cool mom? I know. Well, obviously <laughs> George is cooler than me, but after Georgia, I'm like the second coolest mom. <laughs> um, what will you? I know it's so hard because everything is a spoiler. Um, so the, we're gonna put this out. Uh, we're gonna put this out like after January fifth, and like on the YouTube, no. like in caps. Spoiler alert! <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I no, know. I mean, I don't think we're spoiling anything. Okay, the one thing I do want to talk about because I loved is there is a scene with like you, Felix, and Antonio, which is a great scene. Um, do you know what scene I'm talking about? Well, it's, it's a it quick. It's just like you're. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, hey guys, what's going on? Right? Like you're yeah. like, yeah. That yeah. like you. are did they laugh for like how like I feel like that whole situation is just so awkward and like yeah. someone gotta have chuckled right like were those scenes kind of hard sometimes or no she, okay. I, you know Sarah and Felix are <laughs> remarkable and first of all this is the first season it doesn't spoil anything I that I've been in Felix's in sorry in Marcus's room yeah. I've never been like season one. I never saw the room. I ne- the set was built when I wasn't there. I walked in. I was like, "Oh my god, look at your room!" Mm-hmm. I'm in his room a lot this year. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. That doesn't give me spoilers, right? But I'm I'm crossing the threshold. I'm in both my children's rooms. This oh, season. I'm putting this out. I'm not taking any chances, Jennifer. This is going out. Like <laughs> the Can show I will be going out- to both my children's bedrooms. The show, the, the show will be out by the time this interview is out. Okay, but okay. we're not going to do spoiler. We're not I don't gonna, know. No. It's so okay. So your season two is going to drop January fifth, and people are going to see kind of we pick up where we left off. Um, yep. Obviously, here's the thing. Yes, there's some new characters which I like, yep. and we always love that, right? For season two, yeah. but yeah. they flush out characters from season one that we yeah. didn't know like much about can you talk yeah. a little bit about that i mean we're not really spoiling anything that, that's a I cool know. thing right? I... <laughs> well i mean i think you you get further backstory and further things from the characters that you love mm-hmm. and then you're going to get these new characters that are going to come in that are only going to add to those storylines mm-hmm. for the characters that you already know and love do you read the scripts for this and say you're a combination of okay like you're the mom of like two main characters that are dealing with a yeah. lot of things and there's like intersections yeah. with a lot of their like there's they cross paths a lot of social clubs and like yeah. you're also good friends with georgia and like you're also but you're like a little bit of the comic relief like is that what you kind of see when you're reading the script like there's a lot of roles of like your character in the show I will say that I intentionally um, zip, like I don't really properly read the scenes with my children Mm -hmm. where there's stuff going on in those scenes that I shouldn't as a character know. Gotcha. Because I think it would be harder for me as a character if I knew everything that was going on to play the woman that I play that is really optimistic, maybe a little, I mean, no more than a little, unaware a lot of times about what is going on with her kids. So I don't want it to read at any part of me as an actor to read yeah. that I know what's going on. So when I sense that in a scene, I kind of rip through it and then I go on to the next thing because I want to play it as true as I can that my character is doesn't know until she knows. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The anticipation of when we were going to get a season two of Ginny and Georgia was like everyone online. And like all we did, you know, interviews with you and we've interviewed Katie Douglas and everything. And like yeah. everyone's asking, like, right. when is it coming out? When is it coming out? Right. To have that information before the world does, like when you get a call from the show where it's like, hey, we're back yeah. January 5th. Is that right. kind of one of those, oh my goodness, like everyone is going to lose their minds. Like, do you even think yeah. about things like that? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and that you have this, you can't say, you can't say anything to anyone, but you know, and people, it's so cute. Like people message all the time in the DMs asking when it's coming out. <laughs> and I was saying to someone, I was like, it would be really funny if I just randomly told like Tammy from Buffalo, <laughs> don't <laughs> tell anyone Tammy. <laughs> But I'm telling you, this is on you, Tammy. You keep this secret in your heart because I have to keep it in my heart too. So I'm going to share it, you know. Screenshot, it's on the internet and it's it's history. It's yeah. over, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would trust Tammy. Tammy from Buffalo. Tammy from her. Buffalo. Shut up. Someone's <laughs> going to find this interview and like create a fake Tammy from Buffalo Find Tammy from Buffalo. I want to meet her. <laughs> you kind of have like the Netflix triple threat, right? Like single all the way, Shit's Creek, Jenny and Georgia. Do you ever think about that? I do. I love okay. being on that place. It's so it's awesome. Great. I know. It's, <laughs> the the global impact of that yeah. streaming service is like nothing no one's ever seen before. Let's be honest. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Ted was at, we had a, a, a press week last week, as you know, and mm -hmm. um, Ted came to the beginning of the dinner and it was like seeing Santa Claus. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, it's Ted. Oh my gosh, it's dead. <laughs> I have to tell them all of my wishes or they won't come true. Like it was phenomenal to see, like actually meet him in person. As an actor and a storyteller, Jennifer, are you starting to get used to like the multi like steps of something you make getting out there in the universe, getting disseminated into the sphere? Because I feel like there's always more, like there's more and more steps these days. Like there's more like, okay, you're, yeah, you're going back to film. Okay, first look photos. Not a trailer, photos, right? And some of them aren't even scenes. They're just like you, all of you just be like, hey, like we're back. You know what I mean? And people are like, this is cool, but like, what is it? <laughs> and then trailers and announcements, like there's like 18 steps. Like, are you getting yeah. used to that? Like, or is it sometimes like kind of still hard to be like, oh man, like. Getting used to it. Yeah. It's so, so different, right? You used to just have publicists who would handle all of it for you. And so there is kind of this, you know, Netflix is really great and they're incredibly supportive with us, which is great because otherwise you'd be like kind of in the dark, but they're very mm -hmm. good at having sessions with everybody and, you know, letting everybody know this is what you could do. Don't feel any pressure at any point. They're like, if you feel pressure at any point, just call us and we will help you. So at least you feel like you're not in the darkness, not sure. Like, do I tweet this or do I, I don't tweet anymore, by the way. Wow. I'm one of the people who left twitter no one noticed but i noticed in my heart and i think that's but you also that. have one of the best instagram handles of any like you have like number one or two of like the best instagram handles of any guests we have oh. you're it's frenifer right frenifer it's a great it's a great handle i'm jennifer so, and i'm your friend so it's yeah frenifer. it's it's like it's one of the best instagram handles of Thank a guest you. we've had on the show the other one is an actress named devin hales and she was on teenage bounty hunters on netflix yeah. and hers was devin dot uh devin hales dot jpeg and i always thought that was a cool instagram yeah. handle yeah yeah so well, thank you. no it, i'll it's, tell it's, my it's, child that you think it's cool what did tammy from buffalo say yeah. when she dropped off her kid at school okay. bye son <laughs> Okay, context though. I, that was actually what I was gonna say. I was gonna say what did the buff no, 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 no. I'm so happy about this because literally, I swear that was the joke I was gonna tell you. It's gonna be what did yeah. the Buffalo say to his son when he dropped him off at school? It was gonna be by son, but then you said Tommy from, from Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> Is kismet was meant to be by son. There were so many I told you last time, and I forget like. You quit. You no. You, you had a like the first time I chatted with you. You were like doing a set. Because I just you, got the dad joke calendar. There was like one a day. Like there's like thirty dad jokes. So like, I still tell the one that you told me the last time because I thought it was really funny, the but... construction. No, the restaurant on the on the moon. Oh, on the moon, zero food. Uh, moon great food, zero atmosphere. Happen. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Or like I love it. when you had your summer job at the shoe factory, but you quit because it was soul destroying. <laughs> There's something lovely about, listen, their mom jokes, their dad jokes. We don't have to apply a gender. Yeah. They are the jokes that an older person. Parent, parental <laughs> jokes. Parental 
human jokes. They are just a joke that a person who's older than you tells that they think <laughs> it's funny that you go, wah, wah, but there's a beauty to them. Recently, I interviewed, it's funny because like I was on a press junket, but I interviewed Chris Elliott um, in the summer. Okay. So oh, nice. the shits yeah. basically. Yeah. I've interviewed the, which is yep. that show is still not going away and it's not going anywhere, by the way. I was People at a store. A I was at I'm at Marshall's doing Christmas shopping. There's Shits Creek like merchandise I everywhere. I saw Uno cards in a store the other day. I was like, what? Uno cards. Do you I miss do you do you hat. do you miss the hair? Like Jocelyn's hair? No. I don't miss the hair. It was kind of, it was iconic though. It was iconic. It's in a drawer. I have it here at home, (laughs) but the dog barks at it. So I have to keep it (laughs) away. I love how you're just so honest. Like, no, don't miss the hair. Like, um, love her. no, it was, it's, it's, it's a, that is just a fun, like, the character on Jenny Georgia, she's a lot of fun too. But like that's a like Jocelyn shit was just a lot of fun. Let's be honest. There's not much more to say, right, about that character. No, no she was so much fun. It was yeah. it was amazing. Um, for wrap up, also, um, what are some things you really enjoyed in regards to filming season two of Jenny and Georgia compared to season one? I mean, it's like kind of like what you said, you pick up right where you're back, like left off, but like, were you enjoy, did you enjoy some of the storylines? Did you enjoy some of like the kind of double dates a lot in this season that we didn't have in the first season with like you and Jenny, like what, uh, Georgia, like what did you yeah. like specifically this season? Well, I can't get too specific about what I like, oh my but, God. <laughs> but, um, I mean, First of all, this cast is amazing. I've been so lucky. Shit's Creek people were all incredible. The cast in the show are incredible. It was so nice to see everybody in LA last week. Um, Mm -hmm. They're great in this. It was not, I, you know, because of my character's role in the show, I get to kind of see, it was great for me to watch the season because there's so much that I am not privy to my character, what's happening with my kids and, um, so it was really awesome to see all of that, the, the pieces of the puzzle that I didn't see when I was shooting. Um, and we didn't have table reads or anything. So, you know, it was really, a lot of it was a lot of surprises for me as well as the audience due to my filtering myself and the not having a table read. So I love the, the dedication to the performances this season yeah. is incredible they're so good they're so good everyone in this show is so strong in their character and the writing behind it it's just the time flies i don't know about you but suddenly i'm at the end of the season and i don't know what happens it's weird because the first interview we did felt like it was a long long time ago but the last one we did it felt like it wasn't even like a year and a half like it felt like yeah it was crazy but like From season one to season two, even though it hasn't been that it's long, not. it feels like... The fans have been very patient. We're very sorry. Thank you for your patience. Here we are. Thank you We're for your finally. patience, Tammy from Buffalo. I appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. It was actually so great catching Anytime. up with you. Anytime. Listen, we do it annually. I'll do it biannually with you. I'm just saying, if we need to talk every six months instead of every year... I'm in. I'd be up for that. That'd be awesome. Uh, season uh, uh, two, January 5th, worldwide on Netflix, Jenny and Georgia, front and front on Instagram, right? That's where they can keep up to date with everything. Yep. Well, this has All been awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turner, YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Till next time, Jennifer Robertson and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.